Alrighty guys, good afternoon, and Madman Mandela coming at you live from the Garden of Garage here in beautiful Alabama, Miss Samantha Robinson. Okay, uh, Sammy went ahead and she purchased a uh, console for website from us, and here it is, it's all done, it's heading to the UK actually. Uh, it's got an ASV3 in it, 250 gig drive, up on a line server, along with a 10 day trial of the Purge. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to boot it up right now, and with the same amount of luck it's going to boot, Sammy I'm going to go through this thing with you. So then that way then you understand and know what you got to do when you first get this thing all right so then we're going to boot up into fsd dash all right there we go system booted life is grand all right and we're going to get some notifications from plugin letting us know it's online live and all that hey james how are you man good to see you you know sammy i'm not talking to myself okay i'm talking to you my friends that get on my streams all the time and everything so you know <laughs> don't think i'm talking to myself Although I do that sometimes, okay? Sometimes I even answer myself. All right, so anyway, um, <laughs> okay, look, Sam, this is the thing right here, okay? There you go. You got, you, you're all done the purge, okay? You're all done the, on the server. Everything is good. We're going to go ahead. We're going to go through this thing, okay? Under emulators, Genesis Plus 360, SNES 360, and main. All right, there's over 4,000 ROM system main alone. All right, if you're into stand-up arcade games, there you go. Xbox Classic Games, okay, uh, we have quite a few classic games on there for you, those are the original Xbox games. Then of course we have our homebrew section, we have Dash Launch, XM360, XCX Menu, Xbox 360 Dashboard, Voice Changer 360, Simple Man Flasher, Internet Explorer, FX Menu, Flash 360, Back to Dash Launch. Xbox Live Arcade, a myriad mind-boggling amount of arcade games, including some really strange ones like uh, Trailer Park King and Child Support 1 and Child Support 2. Alright. And then, of course, we have our regular Xbox 360 games, okay? And, uh, all favorite titles, you know, there you go, all right? Now, to get to the original dashboard, go to your homebrew section right here. Go to, uh, Xbox 360 dashboard, mash the A button, mash it one more time, that will take it to you. What's up, Sean? How are you? Good, I'm glad that you're on your way home. I'm glad everything turned out, all right, as long as everything's okay with you, man. But don't get me going with the unicorn, man, all right? Forget it, all right? As you can see, hello again, Samantha Jones, you're on Alliance Live, welcome to Alliance Live, and Dashboard 17559. You currently have 30 reserve days left, got it good, okay? Now, as you can see, the system is up, it's online, it's live, okay, there you go, alright, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Xbox Home, alright, which is going to bring it back to FZ Dash. Um, in our, in our uh, HUD, we have uh, Ghost Cheats and Modern Warfare 3 Cheats, alright, those are uh, all posts, and uh, we get back to FZ Dash, just smash the button on Xbox Home, that'll take you back. All right, and then once we get back in FSD Dash, I'm going to show you something else, too. This has multiple dashboards on it, so you are able to choose whatever you like. They're already well set up and everything, so you don't have to go through all the hell of setting them up, okay? So I'm going to show you how to get to them. All right, go to Homebrew. We'll go to Dash Launch. All right, now, all right. As you can see, there's paths here, okay? Now, under paths, I just hit A to open that up, okay? You have Freestyle, which is the default. That's what we boot up into. You have Button B which is going to be FX menu, all right? You have button X, which is going to be XCX menu. You have button Y, which is a stock dashboard. And then you have left bumper, which is Aurora. You can hold down the buttons for the corresponding dashboard when you're booting up, and it will load that dashboard, okay? Now, if you want to change the default, like uh, a lot of people, they like Aurora too, all right, because it's made by the same people as the, that, that made FSD. All you got to do is this. You go into default, hit A, Hit A to back out to the double dot folder right there. Go to Aurora. Okay. Click A at Aurora XEX. All right. Now you'll notice that it put up Aurora.XEX. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to hit RB. You're going to bring down HDD. You're going to hit X. The settings are saved to launch in. All right. Hit B to back out. And now it will launch Aurora. Okay. Hey, Josh. How are you, man? Good to see you. Chris Wright. What's happening, man? Good to see you, too. <laughs> Oh boy, my buddies. Um, now why is that being hidden? That shouldn't be hidden. Let me fix that here for you. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Oh my God. You gotta love that stuff. Yeah, that one's hidden too. What the heck? Why is it doing that? Shouldn't be doing that. There you go. Alright, now everything is back where it should be. Okay, that was just a little nutty. Alright, in fact, what we'll do here is going to check something here. I just want to make sure he's right. Yep, okay, good. All right, that's good. All right, now let's check something else here while we're at it. 
view. Yeah, here we go. There. All right. Now, okay. Now, anyway, all right. Now this is this is Aurora. Okay. So now, right now we're in uh, where it shows everything on on the drive. Okay. We're gonna hit RB. Well, that's Xbox 360 actually. Okay. Xbox Live Arcade. All right. Hit RB again. Emulators. Hit RB again. Classic games. RB once more. Homebrew section. All right. RB again. Indie games. RB again. We're back to show all that's everything on the hard drive. Okay. Now we will put it back to FSD dash for you, uh, for you, so that way that you can choose whatever you want to choose when you get the system. All right. So we'll go into dash launch. All right. We'll go to pass. Go to default. Okay, back out to the double dot folder. Once again, hit A. Go down to freestyle. Here we go. Select. We're good. All right. RB. Highlight HDD. Hit X. We're done. All right. Now. Okay. Now, there's a certain way that you have to boot this system up for the first time on a network. Okay. I'm going to go through that. Okay. Uh, Sean. Uh, yes, they are. Definitely. Now, look, here's the deal here, okay? When you first get this system, okay, check this out. All right, look, before you go ahead and power it on and all that other happy nonsense, what you need to do is we need to set it up on your network for the first time, all right? So what we do is we pull up, we pull this drive tray out, we grab hold of the hard drive, we pull that out of there, okay? Then we boot the system, all right? Do not boot it with the hard drive in it. Okay, because you will not get on the network and it will just sit there at the logo and it will be just flashing at you and you won't get any further than that. Okay, there's a certain way that you have to set this thing up. All right, by the way, once it boots the dashboard, go ahead here. Let me sync this up here. Okay, good. Now, look, all right, here we go. We're at the dashboard. Okay, well, we're about to get to the dashboard. It's going to be the original dashboard. You're going to get the blackboard screen. Okay, when you get the blackboard screen, this is what's going to happen. All right, look. All right, go to settings, go to system. Go to network settings, okay? You'll see my Wi-Fi is in there, okay? Your Wi-Fi is going to pop up over here somewhere. I want you to click on it. When you do, it's gonna you're going to put in your password. It's going to automatically do a test. Mine I have to do manually, okay? Your test, your test results are going to come out looking like this, okay? Once, this, once it connects, there you go, all right? What you're going to get, you're going to get two red X's or you're going to get two check marks in a red X, okay? Either way, it doesn't matter, as long as that one is connected. That's the only one that we have to worry about, okay? Once that's connected, all right, then all you have to do, power down the system, all right? And then what I want you to do, come on, power down. There you go. Take the hard drive, slip it back in. You'll feel it click, all right? Make sure it clicks. And then put the drive, uh, put the drive tray cover back on, and then take out this plug. Unplug it, okay, from the back for five minutes. If you don't do that, all right, what's going to happen is it's not going to clear the DNS. It's going to make a mess, all right? And it's going to sit there, and you're going to spin at the Xbox 360 logo, all right? You don't want to do that. So you got to leave this out for five minutes. We've got to clear the DNS on it. This is the only way to do it, all right? Now, once it's clear, then you can plug it back in. Now, me, I can plug it back in right now because it's on my network, all right? You, you have to wait five minutes, okay? Once you wait the five minutes, then all you got to do is just power the system on, all right, and wait for it to boot. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to tell you how to unlock your Titus, okay? Because that's rather important, all right? So, now, system's going to boot up. Now, if you get it right, you're going to get two notifications. This is going to, this, this green stuff is going to stop moving in the logo here, okay? Now, it stopped moving, we're good. That means it locked onto the server, all right? Now, you notice the fan speed kicks up. You notice it'll go to FSD. There you are. Welcome to Alliance. You're going to get another plug in which is going to be purged, and then you're going to be good to go, all right? So, now, what you're going to do is you're going to sync the controller up, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to go on over to Homebrew section, okay? You're going to click on that, and then what you're going to do is you're going to go to XM360. Now, you're going to click on this. You're going to click A on this, all right? What's going to happen is the black screen for about a minute, all right? Because it's scanning the entire hard drive. Once it does, you're going to, it's going to come up with uh, XBLA, and it's going to come up with DLC, all right? What I want you to do, I want you to click on DLC, select all, and hit unlock. Then hit B to back out. Then, then go ahead and get it and click on XBLA. All right. Unlock all. Hit, and once it unlocks it, hit B, back out, and then you're done. Okay. 
So that way then all the titles and everything are unlocked and stops all the craziness and everything, all right? Now, once you do that, now you got to do that after you put your profile in. Now, what I mean by your profile is this, okay? When you come when you come here after you set it all up on your network and everything, all right? You have to make an Xbox Live profile. Now, you're going to get this square that comes up, which is good. All right? And then, if you have an if you have an Xbox Live profile, download it. If you do not have an Xbox Live profile, don't make it on the Xbox because a lot of people are doing that and it's making a mess. You do not do that, okay? What you do is you go to xboxlive.com, okay? You go ahead, you make an account on xboxlive.com on your computer. And then you use Outlook Express for the email, all right? When you do that, okay, it's going gonna, it's gonna to ask you for credentials and everything, okay? Once you set up your password and all that crap, then you come to the Xbox, you go over here and you hit download profile. You put your password in, all right? Once your password is put in, then what's going to happen is, is it's going to go ahead and it's going to download the profile. When it when it completely downloads the profile, it's going to it's going to go ahead, it's going to set up, and then you're going to wind up coming to a screen that looks just like this with your profile logged in. Okay, very simple. Once you do that, go to XM360, unlock the titles as I as I said before. All right, and then you can go and play. All right, now here's the deal here too. All right, look, we're going to go back to FSD Dash now. All right, original Xbox games, okay, to play them. Here's what, here's what has to happen, okay? Whenever you're ready, Chris, you got to let me know uh, what you want on them, what you want in those customs, okay? Uh, so that way then I can get them going, all right? Um, anyway, all right, look. Now, Sam, this is what you're going to do, okay? You're going to go on over. And uh, you can go to Xbox Classic Games, all right? But the problem is, though, is that if you are on the server, and what I mean by that is if you have this guide right here, we're going to have a problem because it will not, it, it's going to crash, all right? When you try to run an original title, it will crash. The way to do that is very simple, all right? All you got to do, power down the console, all right? Then what you're going to do is you're going to put it in bypass mode, all right? This is bypass mode. You press power, press eject. Leave the tray hanging out until you reach the dashboard, all right? When you reach the dashboard, now, what I mean by that is, is once it boots into FSD, do not push the tray back in until it reaches FSD. Once it reaches FSD dash, all right, then you push the tray back in, all right? We're just bypassing the plugins, all right? We don't want to have any plugins. We don't want it to be on live or anything like that, all right? Then what we do is we go on over to our original titles, all right, very easy. And then just pick one, you know, and hit A, hit A. The Xbox, the original Xbox logo will, will go ahead and come up, and then it'll start playing the game. There you go, all right? There's your original Xbox game. Pretty easy, all right? Like I said, then we have an idea. Okay, now, all right. So, and then once you, um, yeah. Once you go ahead and you, you know, when you're tired of this game or whatever, you hit the guide button, go back to Xbox Home, hit yes, and then you can play another one, okay? Now, emulators, you can play with the server on or off, it doesn't really make a bit of difference, okay? So, if you're, if you want to play emulators, I'll use MAME for an example, alright? Uh, you go on over to emulators, click on MAME, okay? When you click on any one that you want, actually, it'll load. There's your game. You can use your trigger to go down. You can use your D-pad to select or whatever. The trigger will, will, will go screen by screen, okay? The D-pad will go game by game. Very easy. You launch the game, follow the instructions, you're good to go. Now, once you're done with the, once you're done with main, just hit the guide button. Go back home, and there you go. Alright? So, Sam, there you have it, alright? Listen, I want to thank you for your business. I greatly do appreciate it, all right? And we will be uh, shipping it off tomorrow. The rain will have a tracking number for you by tonight, all right? Like I said, it is going to the UK, so it's going to be an international tracking number, all right? So, you know, we're all good, okay? And guys, listen, uh, like I said, I appreciate all of you hanging out and, uh, you know, and, and watching these videos and everything. I really do, all right? And uh, like I said, I'm busy as all hell, and I'm going as fast as I can, so just bear with me, okay? As I got now, now I'm I'm finally down to like 33 orders, okay? 
But then again, they, they come back up. But the, like I said, they go in they go in line, okay? And I'm going as fast as I can, but I'm not going to go ahead and sacrifice quality or screw, or screw up somebody's Xbox, all right? Because that's the way you piss off people because when they get it and it doesn't work, and then it's on me because I went too quick. I'm not doing that, okay? You can't wait. I'm sorry. Hey, if you want a refund, I'll give you a refund. You can go somewhere else, all right? But I am not going to sacrifice quality just to hurry up. It's not happening, so you can forget that, all right? So anyway, needless to say, there you go, all right? I hope all you guys have a good one and be safe. And listen, I'll be hollering at you a little later, okay? Thanks again. Enjoy the day. Talk with you later. I'm on my next one.